like we're competing against each other. What we're doing is trying to keep our art alive. And what we do is we like to uh, clean up the customers, like the community. We do the sheriffs, the police, keep them all up. And, and, and you just don't find it anywhere. So right downtown now, you probably got maybe me and five other people that's doing it. No, I never thought I'd be doing this. Actually, I wanted to get, I was actually going to be in AC refrigeration, but I used to come down, I had a buddy years ago, Mike Hamilton, that started shoe shining down here, and I used to come down and get money off of him all the time. And uh, one time I came in and he looked at my shoes, and he was like, man, who shine your shoes? I said, I do. He said, man, if you give a customer half that look, uh, they would love you down here. I was like, man, shoe shine play like that? And from that point on, I've been trying to get him on vacation and everything. Then I ended up going on, doing my own business. For 15 years, Indianapolis native Scott Williams has made his living shining shoes. What started as a punishment, handed down by his grandfather, who didn't appreciate Williams lipping off to him about the smell of his polish, quickly became a way for him to make a little extra cash as a kid. Growing up, he would accompany his father, who worked as a cab driver, to the taxi depot downtown and shine the cabbie's shoes. Yeah, one of the things about shining shoes here at Reds is we meet a lot of interesting people. A lot of people, like when we go up on web, you pull up barbershop, we one of the first ones to come in, so we get a lot of famous people coming in doing a lot of big events. I was working at the Western then, and they had doing a, a thing of Columbine going on down there, and Deion Sanders came in and got his shoes shining. Uh, Brett Wharf and a couple of the commentators were with him, and that dude was just a straight comedian. I love the, I love the fact that he told Brett Wharf after I got done with his shoes, he said, man, his shoes ain't never looked that good. You need to take that man on the road with you. Throughout his career as a shiner, Williams has worked at a slew of upscale hotels and department stores, including the Westin, Marriott, the old Adams Mark, and Nordstrom's. At Red's, he sets up shop next to the window and likes to watch the people walk by. People that come to town and they see us doing this, they say that we don't have this back home. Uh, and a lot of big major cities are saying that, that they don't have shoe shine back home, so they glad, you know, that we're here. Uh -huh.